clinical and pathological staging of breast cancer. When any woman diagnosed as breast cancer, the patient will ask you and everyone in her family will ask you many questions. What is, what is the chance of my mother to live, to live free from the disease? What is uh, the treatment of my mother? What is uh, the condition? To ask all this question about the chance of uh, live from free from the disease, the line of treatment, the mother will dying or not, etc. depends upon accurate staging. For Arabic student, على بلاط يا جماعة أي واحدة ست حد تشخص cancer breast هي وأهلها هيعودوا يسألوا ماما هتعيش ولا هتموت؟ هل يا ترى ممكن تعيش فري فروم ذا ديزيز؟ هل يا ترى هتموت بسرعة؟ إيه الأحوال اللي هتبقى إيه بالظبط؟ إيه التريتمنت بتاعها إيه؟ The staging there are three systems of staging. The most famous and the most important and the standard is TNM staging. We all know that T is the size of the primary tumor. N is the lymph node metastasis. And the M is distal metastasis. First of all, the T, the size of the primary tumor. If you examine any patient and nothing is felt, you cannot detect any tumor. This is called T0. No tumor. If carcinoma in situ is discovered, it is called TIS. Carcinoma in situ or carcinoma in situ, duct or lobular, is called TIS. Or budget disease without a lump is also carcinoma in situ. If you palpate in uh, a patient with breast cancer, tumor two centimeter or less in size. It is uh, called T1. If you feel a swelling from two to five centimeter, it is called T2. If you feel the tumor more than five centimeter, it is called T3. If you feel a tumor with affection of skin, any size of tumor with affection of skin, like skin ulceration, skin jewel, bod orange, skin affection means T4. Or if you find the fixed tumor, tumor fixed to the chest wall, or inflammatory carcinoma. Therefore, tumor of any size with affection of skin fixed to, fixed to chest wall or inflammatory carcinoma is T4. N means lymph node metastasis. If no bulbable lymph nodes, no bulbable lymph nodes is called the N0. If there are bulbable lymph nodes in the axilla, but mobile lymph nodes, bulbable mobile lymph nodes are called N1. If the lymph nodes become fixed, this is called the N2. If there is affection to supraclavicular lymph nodes or infraclavicular lymph nodes or internal thoracic lymph nodes, which is called in the bust, internal mammary lymph nodes, 
all these advanced lymph node affection is called the N3 supraclavicular parasternal or infraclavicular are called N3 M is distal metastasis there are two possibility M0 no distal metastasis can be detected or M1 distal metastasis can be detected this is the TNM staging there is another staging called Manchester classification Manchester classification stage 1 is localized mass in the breast without any skin affection without any lymph node in the axilla therefore T1 or 2 with no lymph node in the axilla, no distal metastasis, this is called the stage 1, just to localize the mass in the breast, T1 or 2. But if, if lymph nodes affected, mobile lymph node in the axilla, this is called the stage 2. If locally advanced tumor, locally advanced tumor as T3, Fixed lymph node in the axilla, N2, without distal metastasis, this is called stage 3. Um, stage 4 is M1, irrespective to the T and irrespective to the N. M1 is distal metastasis stage 4. Therefore, localize the mass in the breast without any lymph node affection, stage 1. Mass in the breast with mobile lymph node in the axilla, stage 2. Locally advanced tumor is stage 3. In all stages, M0, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, M0. But if there is distal metastasis M1, this is the terminal stage which is stage 4. Therefore, in all stages, stage 1, 2, 3, M0. Stage 4 is only M1. This is called the Manchester classification, localized mass in the breast stage 1. Mass in the breast with mobile lymph node stage 2. Locally advanced tumor is stage 3, distal metastasis stage 4. The most accepted international classification nowadays is called UICC stages. The UICC stages is classify carcinoma of the breast into four stages like Manchester but with more details. In stage 1, which is the beginning of the carcinoma, it is only one stage. And the termination, terminal stage, stage 4, is only one stage. The beginning is first stage in UIC staging is T1 just early carcinoma is small less than two centimeter in the breast without any lymph node we sure all stages without distal metastasis all stages m zero the beginning stage stage one is only stage one not subdivided Localize the mass in the breast, T1. Also, the terminal stage, stage 4, is just one stage without subdivision. All stages are M0, except stage 4, stage of distal metastasis. Therefore, stage 1 is one stage, 
which is the beginning and the termination is one stage stage two is divided into two subdivision a and b two a and two b and the stage three are divided into three subdivisions stage two two subdivision stage three three subdivision stage two a the main event here which occur is appearance of mobile axillary lymph nodes mobile axillary lymph node and no one this is the main event colored in red color the T this is early tumor stage T1 or T2 and sure as usual M0 this is stage 2A stage 1 and stage 2A are early breast cancer and there is very good chance to complete cure very good good chance in stage 1 and 2A in stage 2B which is very rare stage 2B is very very rare which is the main event is appearance of T3 the tumor becomes large more than 5 cm this stage is very very rare why because N0 how it comes large tumor with N0 therefore this stage is very rare stage uh, 2b is very rare because it is a large tumor reach to T3 without lymph node affection um, stage 3 Stage 3 are divided to three subdivision 3A, 3B, 3C. 3A, the main event, all three are uh, locally advanced tumor. Locally in the region, the local regional area in the breast and the axilla in the breast and the axilla the tumor becomes locally advanced in stage 2a the main event is lymph node becomes locally advanced fixed lymph nodes n2 in this stage the tumor is from 1 to 3 maybe t1 maybe t2 maybe t23 the main event if you find any patient with fixed lymph node n2 this is 3a irrespective to t1 t2 t3 and sure m0 stage 3b the main event is t4 irrespective to any other N. T4, affection of skin, fixed to chest or inflammatory carcinoma. This is stage 3B. Stage 3C, the main event is supraclavicular, infraclavicular, internal thoracic lymph node affection irrespective to the T any T even T1 but with sobraclavicular lymph node affection this is N3 stage 3C therefore to remember 
the UICC staging. The first stage just just beginning. Tumor this then to centimeter T1. The termination is just one stage. M1 distal metastasis. 2A and stage 1 are early tumors. The tumor T either 1 or 2 and the main event in stage 2A is appearance of mobile axillary lymph nodes. Stage 2B very 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 rare. T3 large tumor but with N0. If uh, locally advanced tumor, locally advanced tumor 3A, locally advanced tumor in the node, fixed lymph node N2, irrespective to the size of the N, of the T, T1, 2, 3. The main event in CG 3B is T4. The main event in 3C is advanced lymph node affection, infraclavicular, supraclavicular, or internal thoracic, which was called in the past internal memory lymph nodes. This is the UICC staging. And in this staging, you should notice that uh, stage 1 and 2A are early breast cancer and there is very very good chance for complete cure while 2b and all c and all three a b and c are considered locally advanced breast cancer stage 4 which is the terminal is the stage of distal metastasis this is the staging of breast cancer. Thank you for good listening and good luck.